Oscar Clefbaum is now officially retired. He, he's now oh. talking about the he's done playing. Uh, quote, unquote, he says, I'm very happy with my career. I'm just grateful that I got the chance to play as many games as I did, even though it was with uh, as in, with an injury. For Clefbaum, he was left with a tough choice. He says, quote, unquote, on one hand, I would be risking not being able to lift my children enjoying life after hockey. On the other hand, I almost want to risk everything because being on the ice is the most fun I know, but he's uh, out talking to Swedish papers. This is coming out over the last few hours. Uh, finally, officially announcing his retirement and um, underappreciated, underrated defenseman for the Edmonton Oilers. Do you think? Because I feel like at times he, like he was more important than actually at times we gave him credit for. Um, my my view on Oscar Clefbaum was uh, the the un. Not the uncut, but the unknown uncut diamond, so to speak. I there was there. I think there was something there with this player. Um, he, he it, it all lined up perfectly. Adam Larson, kind of a mentor. There was a lot of more offensive upside, I think, with Oscar as well. Uh, I think he would have settled into a role more so. Uh, if I'm looking at Swedish comparisons, like Nicholas Kronvall, right? Mm -hmm. You know, somewhere in there where he's ca counted on defensively. Um, uh, there are is some offensive upside, but we just never knew, you know. And it was it was always that hope that he was going to develop into that, and he kind of was in, at that point the number one or number two or number three defenseman on the Oilers at that point. Um, yeah, it's that's a that's got to be tough. I mean. That's a huge decision. I, I applaud him for that decision, Maddie, because there's a lot of guys that would just try to battle through that and unfortunately probably have life-altering injury that would affect his uh, everything he does after he retires from the game of hockey. So I do commend him on that. Um, but yeah, selfishly, <laughs> I would have loved to see him what the, I mean, can you, if you kind of look at the Oilers defense, like the back end now, can you, can you imagine what an Oscar Clefbaum on that back end would, would look like too? Um, and I, I, I've thought about this and I've talked about this with my friends. Um, they, not so much me, they've, they've brought this up, but the, uh, the, we always talk about the nurse contract, yep. right? Nurse was kind of thrust into that role and and ran with it like he had a phenomenal season but if oscar clefbaum is healthy those minutes get split up um and i don't think you have a, a nine million dollar defenseman because just there's there's uh the minutes are distributed more evenly between those two if they're both playing in the bubble they're both getting raises and stuff but you don't see that overloaded heavily weighted contract um and you just have a very very solid if everything went as to plan, um, I mean that that's a formidable back end that you're looking at with Clefbaum, Nurse, uh, Ekholm, Bouchard. That's a that's a that's a that's a very very deep top four. Yeah, with with Clef, oh, that's the, the, the contract thing there. Like it would have also been one. Maybe the Oilers would have been willing. Like, hey, Nurse, you want to go to the market? Go to the market. We're, we've got like like happened with Larson. If they have Clefbaum, they're not. It maybe as you know, with no Clefbaum and Larson, like, well, you can't risk losing another defenseman, and that kind of yeah. sped that up. But if you have Clefbaum there, maybe you don't let him go. I, I just, whenever Clefbaum was out of the lineup, he was noticeable. It was absolutely Very. noticeable. And that, to me, is the sign of how important he was for this team, is that the moment he stepped off the ice for an injury, wasn't around, you're going, man, what would this team be like if they had Oscar Clefbaum right now? And I remember, I think it was the COVID year, McDavid went down prior to the march with a little bit of an injury and the Oilers were holding on they, they they were able to get some victories Leon and that line with Yamamoto and Nuge was was rolling and they were carrying the team and then Clefbaum went down for a couple games and that's when they started losing and it was yeah. and I'm not saying Clefbaum's more important than McDavid or something but just they really especially with what the defensive core was for the Oilers they really needed Clefbaum and losing him was was so tough um, so uh, happy for him to make it, making that decision that he's made though. Like I, I would hope most people like the idea to pick up your kids. You might not be able to, to me, Oscar Clefbaum, you made the right decision. So good on you. What a career. 
Let me let me ask you this, Maddie. If uh, like you with the, dealing with the sh- shoulder injury, uh, what if the doctor said, you know what, Maddie, you you can't play golf anymore if you want to raise your kids one day over your head. Uh, what 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 type of decision? Let's put the Oscar Clefbaum skates on you and see if it's. Uh, are you sacrificing kids for for long drives or? Or what's happening? At this point in my life, 100%. I'm good with the golf. <laughs> I've got nieces. I'm good. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad, if you're listening. But I am uh, I love my golf a little too much. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm nowhere near close to having kids or anything like that. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm good with the golf. I'm good with the golf. All right. 